What's up guys? This is everything I'm gonna eat for the whole week, alright? And you know what? The bill is right here. I'll tell you how much it'll cost. You're gonna be pretty shocked because yesterday I was talking with a few friends. Shout out to Phil the Beast and he was pretty surprised. I told him how much I pay with uh, other guys and they were like no way you're paying that much hey you gotta you gotta invest in your health and it is pretty costly but for me it's all worth it because i make sure that i feed my body the best possible food all right so i'll show you everything and then i'll show you how much i'm paying hopefully you guys are seeing me good because i don't have i don't know i don't have the fanciest cameras i just put my phone in there so hopefully you can see a little bit but i'll i'll, I'll walk through it so extra lean ground beef number one it's pretty expensive. I mean, it's $19 a kilo and I get three kilos, three kilos, $19 a kilo. So you make the, the mat is almost 60 bucks, 60 bucks, just of extra lean ground beef, three kilos of them. I'm going to make a beef stew with that where I'll be putting some onions. I get a lot of those veggies. So onions, you know, that's like a few bucks here, a few bucks there, some carrots. I've got some mushrooms. I've got some of those green beans. Those are all two, three dollars each, but then they add up, right? So, oh, also, let's not forget, I'll add also some zucchinis in there. So I'll make a big stew with the ground beef. No carbs, just a lot of beef. It's like a chili, all right? I'll also put some beans. Where are the beans? Right here. Two dollars for this, two dollars for the chickpeas, a little bit of tomatoes. I'll tell you all about the last price at the end, but just showing you what goes on in my biggest uh, meal, which is my ground beef stew. I'll do a lot of veggies, tomato paste, tomatoes, some spices, and three kilos of extra lean ground beef. That's why I have my huge pot. I have a huge pot. It's called, uh, let me tell you what's the name of it. It's called Paderna. Paderna, seven liters. So it's a very good one if you guys want to try it. Cast iron Paderna. You bring it all in and you cook with it. Anyways, moving on. What else do we have that is pretty costly? Let's go for the yogurt, Greek yogurt. I've got four liters of Greek yogurt, four liters. All right, those ones, I, they're nine bucks each. All right, so four times nine, let's say it's, it's, uh, it's, it's 36, but let's say it's 35, just because sometimes I get three liters, sometimes I get two and a, a 700 milliliters container. So Greek yogurt, that's pretty costly, you know? Nine, ten bucks. I think it's ten bucks actually. It's not nine. It's ten bucks for a one kilo, one liter of uh, Greek yogurt. I get four. I eat that as a snack in the evening when I feel like some little sweet and I'll put some berries. So those ones are three dollars each. I'm in Quebec. So uh, well, Montreal, Quebec. So the, the, the strawberries taste pretty good. I was just checking on my cat. Strawberries taste pretty good in summer. So I got three of those. And I'll make my little Greek yogurt snack. I put sometimes a bit of protein powder in there and some blueberries. Moving on, what do we have? Some sourdough bread, sourdough white bread. I eat this every morning, all right? And you know what? I change up sometimes the, the bread. I like changing up the bread because it gets too boring otherwise, but sourdough bread, this is maybe five bucks, all right? And I have that, I have three, four slices every day. So I'll need two of those. I have another one in the freezer. Moving on, some raw honey. All right, this is eight bucks raw honey. All right, it's uh, Quebec, Quebec honey, non-pasteurized raw. Make sure that when you're buying honey, it's raw. You don't want to buy honey that is uh, pasteurized and that the commercial one. Invest a little bit more, but you're getting a good quality stuff. Moving on, what else is expensive? Well, blueberries, I got two of those blueberries. Each one is 500 milliliters. So two of those, maybe let's say seven, eight bucks. Moving on, moving on, tuna cans, all right? Every evening I have a tuna salad, so I've got six tuna cans, but I also have a lot more left. So every meal I'll, I'll have myself two tuna cans. Two tuna cans is 240 grams of drained tuna. So it's a pretty good portion of meat uh, in my salad. Every can is like two bucks and a half, so that's $5 a meal, not too bad. But you gotta take in consideration, I add a lot of tomatoes, cucumbers, some lemon juice, olive oil. So all those little things add up, you know? And you know what? The veggies sometimes are more expensive than the meat itself. Like tomatoes, cucumber, like just this is $2, you know? It adds up. Actually, it was $1 today. But anyways, you got the point. Moving on, milk. All right, that's not so expensive. $3 for a liter for milk. I'll put a bit on my, on my what is it called? On my coffee, oats. Not too expensive, $3.99. I'll have that every morning with my banana bread. Eggs, three dozens. 
36 eggs, three dozen, each one is $4, so that's $12 for 36 eggs. Not bad for a, deal, a good deal. I don't get the organic, maybe I should. Maybe I should consider start getting the organic. I have bananas, I get a lot of bananas. I think I'm paying like $8 worth of bananas because I do get a lot of them. But all in all, guys, it's always cheaper than eating outside. I'll tell you how much it costs at the end. But you go eat outside nowadays, you sit in a restaurant, you're still hungry, you're getting a little portion and you, with the tips and the tax and this and that, you're paying 75 bucks and you're still hungry and it's not even healthy. The food is drenched in oil. Drench in oil. The other day I went to a restaurant and I told him I want something healthy. He's like, oh, don't worry, I got you. The guy goes in the kitchen and he puts a ton of oil. He takes all his bottle of oil and put it on the vegetables. And then he makes it with some uh, chicken breast. But he was drenching in oil and he brings it to me and I'm eating. I got so frustrated. I'm like, what is this? I'm trying to eat healthy. I go to a restaurant and I order just vegetables and chicken drenched in oil. All right, you don't even know what they're putting in there. It's so high in calories. So that, that's why I don't like eating outside. Even when it looks healthy, it's not. All right, the dressings or whatever on the salads, or even when you're just getting like something like a baked potato of a steak, it's always so much butter, so much oil. They want to saute the veggies. They put a ton of oil. Why? Because it tastes good. It's cheap. And yeah, next thing you know, you're eating a thousand calorie meal that is not even that tasty. You're pretty much doing a cheat meal and you're not even enjoying it. And it's expensive, 75 bucks. All right, so there it is. You know, all of that, pretty healthy meals. A lot of, a lot of tomatoes. Oh yeah, apples. Um, I'm jumping steps. Let's talk about the tomatoes. Tomatoes, I love them. Uh, I try to have one every single day. I love tomatoes, all right? And I have them with my with my beef stew. Sometimes I have them with my with my tuna salad, and sometimes I just cut up tomatoes, put some salt on there. I love it. Moving on, pickles. I love pickles. Sodium, all right. Super important. You train hard. You sweat a lot. You lose a lot of salt, all right. You gotta replenish it. And pickles are a great way to do so. A lot of people like adding salt in their drinks, but your body doesn't absorb the salt and liquid as well as when it's in food. All right, sometimes you're gonna drink a lot of salt and put Himalayan pink salt. Next thing you know, you have a, uh, you're kind of releasing water. You you go to the washroom a lot. All right, it creates diarrhea when people drink a lot of salt. Not ideal because then your body, basically your intestines, start holding to all the salt. Not good uh, to all the water, and they flush it all out. So I prefer getting my sodium from pickles. Apples, I love apples. I love fruits. I try to eat a, a fruit every single day. Just making sure where is my cat. You know, my cat, uh, my cat is going crazy these days. Anyway, so one apple, uh, I try to eat fruits every single day. Apples for me, it's a great dessert. Sometimes I finish my meal as I'm walking to work. I eat the apple. It's a good dessert. And whenever you're craving something sweet, that's pretty much it, guys. Those ones, regular yogurt. All right, regular yogurt. It's not a Greek yogurt. I don't usually get them, but they were on special, so I got them. But they expire in a week, so maybe I have to... Actually, they expire in four days, so I gotta, I gotta go big on them today. Uh, the, what else? What else? What else? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. How much does it cost? So, to be honest, I also went to another store to get a little bit of other stuff, but that's the bulk of what I'll eat. I do have some other stuff. Coffee, for example. There's six bucks. Mocha pot coffee. I love it. I've got some beans, some jelly. I didn't talk about the jelly. Jelly, I have that on my toast every single morning. I love jelly. Uh, good source of sugar pre-workout. Hot sauce, all right? This was on special, so nice little hot sauce that I got. And uh, some lemons for my, for my tuna salad. Got here some of those. They were $2. Anyways, everything got so expensive nowadays, you know? But thank God, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank God, you know, I, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that, that I'm able to, to, to pay this, you know. I know it's a luxury and I, it's not that I have a lot of, uh, it's not that I'm the richest man on earth. People see me eating and they're like, oh my God, this guy must be bawling, you know. But no, I invest a lot in my food because this is the thing that I'll put in my body and that's how I, I treat my body. I want to make sure I got also this. Eggplant, I love it for my beef stew. I want to make sure that what I'm putting in my body is good food. I'm fueling my body. It's like fuel you put in your car. You got to take care of your body, the temple. Anyways, how much is it? Well, it all came down to $220. All right, but I got it delivered. So let's say without the delivery, let's say 215 
uh, $215, let's say, yeah, $215, 210 210 for all this, which is gonna be enough food for a whole week, all right? You go to the restaurant three times, that's what you're paying. So is eating healthy actually expensive? Not really. A lot of people say, well, me, I just pay 100 on groceries, I don't pay more. Yeah, but then you eat four times outside and you end up paying a lot more, all right? So I don't eat much out. If I eat out, it's very because it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an occasion and I celebrate it. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you liked it. See you soon. Ciao.